time we're here, we always regale you with stories of our own failed attempts at speaking French in your mindset. And, uh, Being Canadians, we're completely fluid. <laughs> you know what, I'm just surprised that there are more of you are not grade 5 French teachers, because they're the only people who actually can't understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> with the look of consternation on my face. But thank you very much for your patience. Both Anglo and French, I think uh, you've been very patient with me over the last two days. I, uh, I planned a big excursion today to the Biodome. Pretty cool. Well, all you wanted was the non Biodome. That's true. Um, and uh, it was quite, you know, it was a bit of an ordeal to figure out how to get out there. I'm here with my wife and three kids, and so we had to do two cabs and all that, right? We got it all sorted out. We got the two cabs ready. We got everything sorted at the hotel, and then uh, the concierge said, Oh, and by the way, it's closed Mondays. <laughs> After all the cab discussion and where it was located and how we get there and stuff. And then it was like, Oh, today? I thought you were planning a future trip to the Biodome. You couldn't possibly have been going today with your kids in their winter coats in the lobby of the hotel talking about Biodome. So instead, I went to the Science Center. That's the Sandra DC onset. I just walked along and with my kids I acted nonchalant. I read the French signs, verified them by reading the English. My name is Ed Robertson. I kind of speak some Fringlish when I want to. When I'm jogging down the streets or love. 